how do you prepare for a career in wrestling? Like, because you know, the thing is, people look at it and they think, oh, that's all fake, that's all fake. But it's pretty hardcore. It's uh, it, it's a never-ending learning experience because every day is a new day. Every match you're in is a different match. Every venue you go in is a different venue or a building. Uh, every ring you're in is a different kind of a feel of a ring. The one I was in the, the past few nights uh, has been the most horrific, horrendous, terrible piece of display of architecture I've ever been in. Uh, who designed it? Who put that together and called it a ring? Uh, it, it was like concrete, lumpy, lumpy concrete with holes in it. Uh, so, so it, the preparation takes years. I trained for nine months, uh, two How nights, two, two nights a week. Just, ju I trained in a barn where, and where there's, well, and the only water to drink was where the horses and the cows drink out of the trough. The only shower was to take the water from the horse trough and wash ourselves. Uh, but the fella, the old fella, had a ring in his barn, and he was a, 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 a very talented old timer who had retired. And he trained me, and the training consisted of just a lot of hard bumps, slams, stomps, kicks, punches, you name it, and we did it to each other. And uh, I thought that was hard until I had my first few matches when I thought I was ready. I'm ready to go. No, I wasn't ready, and even after nine months, and even after now 30 years, do I feel like I'm ready? No, because every night, every day is a different day of a different learning experience. Because you meet so many different people. You meet so many different styles of wrestlers. You know, you have the big guy, maybe it's a, back in my day it was Andre the Giant. He was a giant, so he didn't wrestle with you the same way that a smaller guy or a guy that's your size would wrestle with you. And, uh, you might have the, the big, strong, muscular guy who's doing the, uh, you know, the, the, the army tank thing where he can't be bulldozed over, so uh, you have to adapt to it and, and, and go along with it. I don't like going in with those big guys like that because they had the tendency to want to, well, I have to show the fans how strong I am, so they want to pick you up and slam you down on that hard piece of concrete that they call a wrestling ring sometimes. Do you, do you figure it out before? Like, do you guys plan what you're going to do before? It has been, but in some cases, no. I don't particularly like to plan. I have to now. Years ago, we did not do it. It was not planned. There was no way to plan. You show up at the building, we had separate locker rooms. And the good guys and the bad guys were never together. If you were seen together, you got fired from the company. Uh, a lot of times, you didn't know what you were doing until you got into the ring. Uh, might be told to you by the referee when you arrive in the ring or during the course of the match. Uh, you would be told as you're wrestling. Nowadays, it's it's more it's the guys are more together, like was in this movie that came out uh, with Mickey Rourke, the, the wrestler, where they everyone's together in the locker room. And so much more now is pre-planned because of television, especially in the big company, because everything has to be timed. TV product, so every move has to be choreographed. Everything has to be done time-wise. And for me personally, I don't, I don't, I, I wasn't trained that way, and it's hard for me to adapt to a script. I'm, I, I like to wrestle off the cuff. I, I like to do an interview off the cuff. I don't like canned questions with canned answers. I can do them, but they're not any good.